The headache is a universal human experience, right up there with death and taxes. They come in a cavalcade of horrible species, each more grotesque and unwelcome than the last. Today we're exploring the headache spectrum, the causes, symptoms, and research that is, as of yet, noticeably incomplete. Ain't that a kick in the head? Allow me to explain. Buzz, 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 buzz. Depending on how you count them, there are hundreds of types of headaches, including the one that we would get from trying to discuss all of them. The majority of the types are secondary headaches, or headaches caused by some other underlying problem, such as a sinus infection, tumor, or physical trauma. Instead, we'll be focusing on types of primary headaches, those that occur independently, and include most types that the average person suffers from. First up, the ice cream headache. They're easy to underestimate until you get one, but then you'll be clutching your cranium for mercy. Don't worry though, it'll be gone in a few minutes. <laughs> A study from 2012 found that these whirlwind romances of a migraine are likely caused by an overreaction to cold by the blood vessels near the roof of your mouth. In concern for what they perceive as your head getting too cold, they respond by calling for a rush of warm blood up to your head, dilating to make room. This dilation is what causes the pain. And consider yourself lucky, the headaches only get worse from here. The tension type headache is more difficult to predict. This type is often reported to feel like a squeezing sensation across the forehead or as a constant pressure. These are by far the most common type, by one estimate making up 90% of all headaches. There is disagreement about what factors or mechanisms can or can't cause tension type headaches. But there are theories pointing to everything from muscle tension, stress, eye strain, dehydration, changes in eating, sleeping, or medication habits, abnormal cerebrospinal fluid, serotonin levels, the dysfunction of neuros... You know what? Everything. Every possible thing can potentially lead to a tension headache. Fortunately, treating them is somehow easier than figuring out what's causing them. There are several effective drugs on the market, including aspirin, acetaminophen, naproxen, ibuprofen, caffeine, tricyclic antidepressants, SSRIs, and you know what? Everything. Every possible thing has the potential to cure a tension headache. And you can see why, with so much going on in this confusing category, some people find it easier to just pop pills instead of trying to figure out what's actually causing their headaches. Which is unfortunate, but hey, at least tension headaches aren't that bad compared to the next two categories. The migraine is a gnarly demon that normally attacks one side of the head at a time with intense throbbing pain. It's often accompanied by photophobia, or increased sensitivity to light, and or nausea, even sometimes leading to bouts of vomiting. If you find yourself turning off the lights, drawing the shades, and lying on the floor for an entire day, that's a migraine. Sometimes you can tell that one is about to happen when you have a tingling sensation in your hands, or when you see an aura, which is wisps of unusual color in your vision. And unfortunately for something that's pretty common, they're pretty mysterious. Many studies have been done, but they often just end up digging up more weird stuff. For example, a 2013 study found that when a lightning strike happens, migraine sufferers in the area are more likely to get migraines in the near future. Further study is needed to figure out what in the name of what is going on here. Studies seem to point in the direction of genetics in most cases, with migraines often being referred to as a neurovascular disorder with abnormal brain activity. Mild migraines often respond to the same types of medications as tension headaches, although in more severe cases, there are prescription drugs such as anticonvulsants available. Migraines can sometimes last for days, and they can be very costly in terms of missed work. But still, there's another type of headache lurking. The cluster headache is the headache that proves that there is a hell and it's been inside of your eye socket all along. Reducing grown men and women alike to tears and screaming pain, the cluster headache is the worst of the worst and is sometimes just straight up called the suicide headache. The cluster headache usually causes people to pace around restlessly screaming for anywhere from 15 minutes to an hour and a half. A man named Jim Soar, appropriately named, describes in an interview how when a cluster headache hits, he finds comfort in loudly singing pop songs, anything to distract from the pain. And there's no better way to convince someone you're insane than pulling over in a truck stop to loudly scream Katy Perry lyrics. They are called cluster headaches because they usually occur in specific patterns, though the patterns differ from individual to individual. There are frighteningly few treatments for cluster headaches. One that works for Jim is breathing oxygen out of a tank. Further research is underway to find more effective medications, and this research is important. Headaches need more study. In 2010, workers in the United States lost an estimated 113 million workdays due to types of headaches. Now, maybe if we could just understand how they work, we could all get back to work. Thanks for watching. Remember to hit the like and subscribe buttons if you enjoyed this episode. And if you're aching for more Art Explains, you can check out my new Patreon page, where you can get involved in making more episodes possible. See you next time! I want to know how headaches have affected your life. Leave a comment below with your experiences.